Hi, I'm Adrian Danks, Associate Professor of Cinema Studies and Media at RMIT University and the co-curator of the Melbourne Cinematheque. One of the most significant, if sometimes unheralded, collections held by the University is the Australian Film Institute Research Collection, a unique library of books, rare journals, press clippings, publicity materials, stills and much else from across the history of cinema. There are many important artefacts in this remarkable collection, but I'd like to highlight one that is particularly central to my research, my curatorial practice, as well as the history of cinema in Melbourne. The unique raft of publications produced by and around the Melbourne University Film Society in the late 1940s, 1950s and 1960s. Although these were fallow times for feature film production in Australia, this period saw a burgeoning screen culture that witnessed the flowering of a range of important institutions, such as ACME, the Melbourne International Film Festival, and the Melbourne Cinematheque. The Melbourne University Film Society was a significant cultural player at this time, entertaining and educating thousands of members and helping to establish Carl's as one of the key centres of film culture and independent production in Australia. Now these publications provide a fascinating snapshot of an underdocumented and largely forgotten and extremely vibrant community that brought together filmmakers, critics, curators and writers who would go on to become significant figures in Australian culture and the film production revival of the 1970s. These included people like Barry Humphreys, Jack Hibbard, Gil Brearley, Nigel Buist and Brian Davies. But what's particularly fascinating about this collection is how it documents the shifting tastes of these volatile times, provides a model for the emergence of serious film criticism in this country, as well as the degree to which Australia forged its own cultural identity while imbibing models imported from overseas. Even the covers of these magazines can tell us much about the arrival in Australia of things like the films of the French New Wave, the new Italian cinema of directors such as Pasolini, the increasing importance of auteurist approaches to cinema, the greater focus on film history, and the almost complete absence of anything coming out of Australia. Though the Melbourne University Film Society was also an important producer of films itself during this era, somewhat ironically. Leafing through this rich resource, as can only be done at the AFI Research Collection, allows you to piece together the remnants of this history and explore the contours, artefacts, and material physicality of a lost time.